Brr, it is cold outside, and while some of us may be loving these chilly temps, our pets might not be. And here to tell us how we can keep our pets safe in the cold weather is Joe Casados from the Arizona Humane Society. Welcome, Joe. Thank you. And welcome, Brownie, who is <laughs> the star of the show. We showed her earlier, yes. and we were saying, you and I might not even need to talk. We can just literally let her kind of be on camera for four and a half minutes and, and she'll steal the whole show. Honestly, I, I think she could. <laughs> <laughs> she is so adorable. But when we have super, super cute pets like this at home, in these kind of chillier temps, we really want to keep them safe. So yeah. give us some tips for pet owners during these cold temperatures. Yeah, you know, in Arizona, um, we are used to the heat. We, we, we kind definitely of are. know exactly what to do as soon as it gets hot. Right. But um, oftentimes we forget that in the winter months when the sun falls, so do temperatures. Yes. And so we want to make sure that pet owners are being cautious about extreme conditions in hot and cold. Mm -hmm. So um, in cold weather, the most important thing you can do is always to provide shelter for your pets. Yes. Um, we always recommend when nights starts, bring your pets indoors, um, but we know that isn't always possible for everyone in every situation. Right. So if your pet is outside, we recommend making sure that you have shelter for them, okay. um, a dog house yeah. and some cozy warm blankets and bedding, yes. that way um, they're not on the cold ground. Is there a temperature, and like you said, maybe it's not accessible for everyone to mm -hmm. always bring their pets inside, is there a temperature that you think it's like absolutely they should not be outdoors even if there is some sort of a, a shelter is there a temperature that's like let's bring them inside no matter what um, well we always define extreme cold as below 32 degrees okay. so anytime it's below freezing gotcha. um, extra precautions need to be taken absolutely um, another great tip is if it's cold outside and you're walking out um, when you're taking care of cats or if you know there are cats in your neighborhood or mm -hmm. just to be safe it's always a good idea to knock on your hood um, sometimes oh. cats or critters will crawl up by the engine to try to get some warmth in the middle yes. of the night um, and so if you knock it gives them a little bit of a heads up like yeah. hey I'm gonna be turning this car on in a second absolutely um, and that way we're keeping them safe that way as well that's a great great tip because I know that's something that um, no one wants to have happen is is some sort of a situation where they're in the hood and they can't get out so that's really really great tip what about for our dog owners when they're taking them on a walk maybe it's chilly during the day mm. maybe they have to walk their pets at night after the Sun has gone down because they've got home late from work right do you recommend anything specific for that or do you think they're okay being outside for a little while yeah I mean it uh, a lot of it comes down to knowing your pet and mm -hmm. their limits obviously some breeds like huskies are gonna be much more suited for the cold uh -huh. than um, a chihuahua or a short-haired dog like a pit bull but um, when in doubt you can always get fashionable with it everybody <laughs> loves a pet in a coat yeah um, so we just want to make sure that obviously we're slowly introducing them to the uh, outfits that we're putting them in because we don't want them to be uncomfortable but absolutely always that's a, a good idea that is a great tip everybody loves a cute little outfit and what about dogs adapting do they adapt mm. to the cold do they kind of start to get used to it um, they definitely can obviously once we start getting into those extreme cold temperatures um, we want to be taking those extra precautions but um, they're definitely more suited for cold oftentimes than we are mm -hmm. um, but again knowing your breed like a chihuahua is probably not going to be super great in the cold Absolutely. but they might thrive in the heat so. gotcha gotcha and I love the tip earlier that you gave for cats especially if you know that there are cats in your neighborhood yeah. what about for cat owners who do like to let their cats roam a little bit are there any specific tips for them yeah absolutely bringing your cat in at the end of the day Got always it. the easiest um, way to make sure that your cats are staying safe in the I cold. love that okay I love that and brownie is just the cutest thing she is like I want all the attention she's like whining a little bit like hey everybody give me more pets tell me um, a little bit about her and um, how people can adopt from you guys at the Humane Society yeah so Brownie is a nine week old cattle dog <laughs> she um, came into us from the Navajo Nation as part of our project reach out program uh -huh. um, it allows us to help save hundreds more pets every year we work with the other shelters in the area mm -hmm. and if they have pets like Brownie who had some tummy issues and need a little oh. extra medical attention um, they can bring them to us and we'll care for them and um, now she's ready to go and will be up for adoption in the coming days I love it oh my goodness yes she is gonna get snatched up really really quick because she is just the cutest thing ever so people can follow along with you guys at AZ Humane on IG and FB what about your website yeah, um, azhumane.org slash adopt, and you'll find Brownie up there very soon. Oh, I love it. All right, yes, thank you so much for bringing her in and for those great tips on how to keep our pups safe and our cats safe in the cold. All right, guys, <laughs> coming up, we are talking with the cast from The Islander, and we're getting a special performance next.